this is uh, Jeff from Jeff's Tools. I just want to show you the new uh, Jeff's Tools uh, 16 inch block saw. Let's go in for a closer look. We've, we'll throw to some footage of it being used on the side. Okay, I just want to start with the main feature on it is this the 6 to, uh, sorry, the uh, 4.5 horsepower Robin Superu engine with a three year commercial Australia wide warranty. It's an excellent, an excellent engine. Uh, and the people who uh, do the warranties on these are absolutely outstanding. We have service agents right throughout Australia. Anyway, enough on the motor. Uh, I want to start with one of the main features on it, which is the uh, which is the guide rail. Now, a lot of saws they'll run a table across the outside of the pan here. And the problem with that is, is that what happens when this gets knocked or dented, uh, this won't run smoothly. So, <clears throat> what we've done is we've put the rail just inside the pan here, and we've uh, allen keyed it in place there. Now, the advantage of this is, is that you can remove this if it gets damaged and worn, and they, as you know, they do get worn, and you can drill these points out here and put a brand new uh, rail in there and away you go and you're ready to go again and if this gets dent, and they do, you know, a demolition saws hit them, whatever you got in the back of the ute normally does hit them and we know that um, and, but your saw's not stuffed, you still can use it and got, uh, you know, just normal run of the mill drain hole uh, things like that hoses, water hoses with shut off taps um, another really important feature is this is this uh, thing here okay now a lot of saws ours runs at an angle like this a lot of saws will put this pivot point back here now what happens when you do that is is that it brings the saw back uh, which is great you know you have a small saw for cutting blocks and bricks that's fine but when you want to do pavers you need a lot more room in that gullet and as you can see that's a massive area through there. I mean, look at the distance between there and there. And you can run those big 600s. You can, you can run even bigger stuff through these. And we've got some footage of that later on. Um, and the other thing is the saw doesn't get too big that you can't handle it. I mean, I unloaded this thing myself. Um, you just undo it on this point here. Slides into, into here. And away you go. It's a five-minute job. You know, because really it's only this section through here that is slightly bigger. Um... It has the removable, I'll firstly start with the lock, obviously a transit lock back here. Um, the step, they can be removed, some people don't like them, some people don't use them. Um, I'll just throw quickly to the step here, you know, obviously, foot step and then, you know, run of the mill, you know, standard stuff you'll find on all your brick saws. The other feature is these. Now we've put a, a you know a pretty good size uh, wheel on those, so you can get them around brick so building sites. You know, I mean tiny little wheels useless in the mud. Um, and overall, these are a pretty good saw. I mean, uh, in fact, we think they're an excellent saw, and they're truly a commercial thing. They're not they're not just sort of something we've had knocked up. And, you know, they are a very well made, very well thought out saw, and they run 16s or 14s. Uh, with a cutting depth of 145 mil, and um, I'll just uh, another feature I just thought while well, I've shown you over is uh, you got your oil warning light there, and the other the other uh, thing is the um, if these don't have enough oil in them, they won't start, or they're idle but they won't run up, which is great. You know it can be a bit annoying of course, but it's great because what it does is it stops this engine from seizing. And again, I just want to really, I mean, we love these, these engines there. They're made in Japan, where a lot, you know, a lot of engines now, in fact, most engines now, are coming out of the Philippines, Taiwan. You know, look at look where they're made. And you're getting things, we've seen some really top of the range stuff with severe casting defects and stuff like that in the blocks. These are still made of Japan. They're coming out of, out of, uh, out of, um, Fujitsu heavy industries and they, you know, they, I believe they even make aircraft parts there out of that factory so it's an excellent uh, thing and again I mean how can you argue with a free warranty I mean on on an engine like that I mean um, uh, you know and 
you know, we're not charging a huge amount of money. We're only a small company, but we are uh, a confident little company, and our products are excellent. And we don't only do this. We do uh, turf cutting equipment. We do uh, curbing machines. We do large mortar mixes. And again, I'm going to throw to some footage just straight after this. Uh, thanks to Ray. Uh, Ray. Ray was a client who uh, bought one of these machines off us and was kind enough to allow us to come out to his uh, building site and, um, and film um, them being used. Anyway, thanks again for having a look. I hope everyone uh, is happy with them. So, uh, all right. No worries. Thank you again.